when making your blowgun darts, try to break your branches so that you have a flat spot right there just like that to lay the thorn on. And you can lash it right here and it makes a post tensioning structure that helps keep the whole thing tight. And what I've done is pretty much the same thing with this dart right here. Um, I split a feather in half and spiral wrapped it around the tail and I just temporarily moored it in place with a cane spider cobweb and you just uh, you wrap it with your cordage and you don't worry about tying it you just hold it in place and you wrap it with the spider web and it holds all the the wrappings in place and it helps hold everything nice and tight until you can coat it with your pine sap See, you just melt pine sap and uh, you you take it and uh, just uh, roll it in there real good and smooth it out with your finger and you, when you're done when you're done you've got an excellent blow gun door. And once you got your pine sap melted what you can do you take a, a stick and dunk it and you can coat the strings or what you can do is roll it in the pine sap like that and coat the whole thing and then while it's still good and warm you smooth it out with your fingers and yeah it's going to be a little warm cools off really quick. Always make sure that your points perfectly lined up so you have a straight dart. And if you miss any areas on the first coat, you can go back and touch them up like that little spot right there. And this right here. I want to take a stick and uh and dip it in there and, and poke it all down in there and then maybe I'll reheat that again. I'll heat this up again and pack it tight just so that tip is super tight. And here on the fletching end where you can't really dunk it in there, uh, I'll just dunk the stick in in the pine pitch and, and coat it like that and smooth it. And, but that's the way to uh, that's the way to build a pretty awesome little blowgun dart with fine pitch, a twig, and a feather.